ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event! Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Hi everybody, it's Doreen, and I'm back today with a card that I've made for a baby shower that I have to attend. And this card is made with the silhouette, or as I call it, Erica. So, what does our card look like for today? This is the card that we will be making. So, come on and join me. And I'm going to show you how I made this card. Okay, everybody. So, we're going to start with the card first. And as you can see, I have a new mat. And I've got my mat showing. So what we're going to do is go out and this is a silhouette card or a silhouette file. And I got it on the silhouette website in the online store. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the folder that I have called cards. And then we're going to add the card to the mat. So this is the card we want. It's called the baby card, baby buggy. And I will put a link in the description bar to um, how you can get this card. So let's double click. And as you can see, it has bought my card in. Now I kept the card at the sizes that it comes in as. And as you can see from when I first showed the card, it does make a nice size card. It kind of looks small here, but trust me. It should be fine if you want to make it larger then you'll have to remember to keep everything grouped together and make everything all the same size and then you can go ahead and separate your pieces and lay them on your mat so and that's what I did I went ahead and separated everything out or ungrouped it so we'll do that real quickly I just click the image and then click ungroup and make sure we did that again I don't know why sometimes I have to hit it twice to make it ungroup so now everything is ungrouped and you can move everything around so I'm gonna move the pieces off because I want to show you what I've done to get my sentiment for the inside of the card with that we're going to be using the knife tool which is over here but first we need to set up so we can do our print and cut so I'm going to first of all make this a eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper because that's what I ended up cutting it at and that's the only size that will fit into my printer. I haven't been able to buy that printer that will print 12 by 12 yet. So from here I'm going to rotate my image and I want to rotate it 90 degrees and actually before we do that let me do an undo because what we want to do is we need to get our piece to fit inside here okay so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and I'm just going to change this back to a 12 by 12 sheet of paper I need to click the right one and there we go and then I want to put it here in the middle so now we want to do an offset but we're actually going to do an internal offset so this is my offset window so we're going to go to that window and we're just going to click internal offset and as you can see I now have an internal offset and I'm just going to go in just a little bit here and then I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to move that internal offset down and we'll move this one off the mat for right now because what we want to do is we only want if you want to cover the whole inside of your cards you can but I chose not to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut this in half and that's where we're going to use the knife tool so I'm going to line this up on this line here and I'm only doing that so I have a straight edge to get my knife tool and cut so what you'll do is go over to your knife tool and click your knife tool 
And as you can see on the right, you have the different types of way you can use your knife tool. We're just going to use a straight. And I'm just going to take and draw a line going directly down like so. And then I'm going to separate that. And I don't need that piece, so I'm just going to click it and then I'm going to hit the delete key. So now I am going to or I'm ready to put in my text. So now I'm not going to type out everything that I put in there. I'm just going to give you an idea of how you're going to do this. Okay, so what I've done is zoomed in a little bit so we can see what the text is going to look like. And I've already picked my text style. I'm using the Chelsea. And these fonts are what is on your computer. And if you like and you're looking for in more fonts, you can go to a website called defont.com and choose some more fonts. And I'll put a link to that website in the description bar. So... I need to change my text size. I'm going to make it 13.75. And then I'm just going to start typing. Print and cut. Okay, so I'm just typing just a basic line because this is not actually what my text is going to say we've already seen what I have in the inside and I want to shorten that up a little bit and we'll come out of there and then just move it down and if you decide you want to to get back to your text because as you can see if you click here you're getting your sizes and the width and so forth to get back to the actual text you need to just click again or double click and it takes you back to your text window that you can start typing so if I want to center this I can come over here and click center and then what I did to change the color of my text I highlighted the word that I wanted to change the text color and I went up to my fill color window and then I chose the color that I wanted it now that will fill in the letters if you want the line to be the same color or the outside of the line, you will need to click the line color and also click that as well. And then that makes it a solid color. So that's basically how I had some of my text in pink and some in blue and then some in the green color. So then once you have your text where you want it, I'm going to zoom back. And what we're going to do is we need to do the print and cut. So let's get a regular size window here. Okay. So remember right now this is two pieces, which is fine. So what you'll do is you're going to go to your cut style window. And you want to make sure that it does not cut the or print the baby buggy. So you're going to make that no cut. And then you can go ahead and send this to the printer and then go ahead and once you've sent it to the printer and it's printed out your wording, then you can go ahead and send it to your silhouette. But before you even do any printing, I forgot to mention that you do need to, let's change our paper size to 8.5 by 11. And the other thing you're going to need to do is turn on your registration marks because these are what determines how the silhouette will cut. So I have those on now. So now I would go ahead, make sure that I don't have the buggy to be printed by changing that to no cut. And then you can go ahead and click your print and send this to the printer. Once you send it to the printer, you will come back and click on your silhouette button up here to send it to the silhouette and follow the steps to do the print and cut. So that's basically it. That's how I set up my card to have my writing or my sentiment in the inside. So now I want you to meet me back at the table and we'll put this card together. 
Okay, everybody, so you should have cut out your pieces, and we're ready to put this card together, and it's really going to be a quick, easy card to put together. So, here is my print and cut that I've put for the inside. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that piece in first, and we're just going to use the Tombow to do that. So, I'm going to get some tape on here, and we'll add this. To the inside of the card. The other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and inked my edges using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink and this is the Salty Ocean and I got that one from Skylar. So we're going to just lay this out and we kind of want to line it up and then we'll just press down. So now we have our inside sentiment in our card. So let's go ahead and put the rest of the card together. So we're going to add our next layer, which is this layer right here. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and ran this through my Cutterbug folder. And it's my favorite one, the Swiss Dots. And I'm going to ink my edges real quick, and then I'll come back. Okay, everybody, so I'm back. I decided I wasn't going to ink them at first, but I really like that salty ocean color and I decided to put it on the top layer of this or the bottom layer of this as well so once again we're going to get our Tombow and go all the way around and then the other thing I'm going to do is for the wheels I'm going to use my two-way zig pin and I'm going to get some glue along the spokes of the wheel and then we'll add it to the card. And I want to get some around the handle here. Since the Tombow wasn't going to work with that. So I'm going to open this up real quick. And I'm going to lay this on top like so. And then press down. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to add the wheels first before we put this top layer on because the wheels need to go underneath here so I'm just gonna line these up make sure I have them on there correctly I'm sorry everybody I had to go back and look at the picture actually we need to put this on top and then we'll put our wheels on so we're gonna line this up just to make sure we get this on here correctly. I want to match that up. And I'm going to take the two-way zig pen and get I'm going to bring up a scrap sheet of paper and get some glue on my little pieces here rather than using the tape. And once I've got my glue on there, then I'm going to take my Tombow and then just run this across. And we'll move our scrap sheet of paper here. And we'll line up our spokes up here first. And then we'll press down for the rest. Now, I didn't talk about the paper. The paper for the outside of the card is just the um, Joanne Textured cardstock that I have bought an abundance of and one of these days I'll get through all of it and then this bottom layer here is or the blue sheet is from um, Recollections cardstock and then this top layer of paper is actually from a paper pack that I picked up at Tuesday morning it's called ATD Born to be Wild and it is just some cardstock and it's printed double sided. It is five by seven. So I picked that up a while ago and it happened to work out perfectly because it spelled out the word baby. So now we can go ahead and add our wheels. And we're going to put the wheel right here. And I've taken my candy stripe cut a bug folder and ran it through 
So it looks like this. And I've also inked the edges using the Salty Ocean again. So we'll get some tape or some glue on here. I'm going to bring out my scrap sheet of paper again. And I'm going to get some glue all around on the spokes. And we might as well do both of them at the same time. I have to make sure I was putting that on the right side. And actually all I had to do was look at my um, inked edges and I would have known I had the right side. So I'm going to pull both of those up. And I'll just put one to the side for now so we can get the first one on. And you want to line up your spokes so that they match the ones that are on the bottom. So we'll add that one. And then we're going to go ahead and add the second one. Like so. And then we have our finished card. So now I'm going to add just a little bit more embellishments. And I'm going to come back with the finished card. Okay, everybody. So I am back with the finished card. So what I've done, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just for a minute here. Is I've gone ahead and taken my stone setter tool and added some bling along here at the top and then I've added some lace now they don't know what the sex of the baby is going to be so even though it could possibly be a boy I still felt I needed to dress this card up so I added the lace up here at the top and then down here in the wheels I took some of the candy that were white and then I took my dobbler tool of the salty ocean and then just colored those in so I could make the inside of the wheels blue. And then I've added some bling here in the center. So even though it could possibly be a boy, I still put the bling on there anyway. So that's it, everybody. This is my finished card. So stay tuned in the next video, and I'm going to show you another silhouette cut that I'll be adding along with the present. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.